I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five best movies with cyborgs or about cyborgs. So who am I? My name is Peter Joosten. I'm a biohacker and a cyborg futurist. So I give webinars and keynotes about these topics. I write articles. And if you might, as you might imagine, I also make videos. So if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And if you're wondering, hmm, what is a cyborg futurist? Well, I'm a partly cyborg or I think I'm a, I'm a cyborg because I have implanted a tiny chip right here between my thumb and my index finger. So I'm kind of upgraded. I am a sort of cyborg, but not like the full blown cyborgs I'm going to talk about in the next five movies. So in this video, first I'm going to explain to you what is a cyborg and then I'm going to talk about the five movies with cyborgs or about cyborgs, what I like about the movie and also yeah, what are some of the interesting things in the, that kind of movie, in the movie. So what is a cyborg? If you're interested, I've written an article about cyborgs and I also made a special video with, uh, with, the, with the topic, what is a cyborg? So you can also go there. But the main idea is that the term cyborg has been mostly used in science fiction, books and movies, um, and also in political theory. And in scientific literature, uh, most of the scientists are writing about human enhancement and human augmentation. And if you might, if, as you might can imagine, uh, I've also written articles and made videos about these topics. So if you're interested, go to my website or go to my YouTube channel and type in human enhancement or human augmentation. I also made videos about biohacking and transhumanism. But this video is about cyborgs. So there are two main ideas about the concept cyborg. The first one is the, literally the merger of man and machine, the merger of wetware and hardware. And that's also the focus of the movies I'm going to talk about. And the other one is the, other, the idea of cyborg is a more of an um, idea in philosophy, but it's also gaining more traction, especially in the papers by political theorists. They say that we are already being a cyborg with our current use of the internet, um, our addiction to smartphones, um, also, of course, in healthcare, you have pacemakers, you have hearing implants. So there's also a stream who says, no, we're already cyborgs. But like I mentioned in this video, I'm going to talk about the, literally the, the merger, the symbiosis of man and machine. So in the preview, you saw the famous clip from the Terminator 2 movie by Arnold Schwarzenegger, in which he says he's a merger of man and machine or he's a cybernetic organism. But the question is, is Terminator a cyborg? Well, the jury is still out. There are, there are different opinions on the question, if is Terminator a cyborg? For example, I went on the internet of Cora and I found out the, this quote by uh, Ben Sinclair. And he says the Terminator is robot, specifically an android, because he's man-shaped. And that's also the, the main idea of a robot is like a fully mechanized and electronics and there are no human parts in it. And the main, main idea of a cyborg is there's still some human left inside the machine. So you can say, all right, the Terminator is not a cyborg, but there are also other opinions on this debate. And that's a remark by Stephen Young, who made an inter makes an interesting point where he says, the skin is an organ. It's in fact the largest organ in or on the human body. So the Terminator is a cyborg. Yes, at least the Arnold version is where he for, of course refers to Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I'm curious, what do you think? Um, I think I go with the first one where the Terminator is like not a cyborg. But I'm curious, what do you think? Um, if you have an opinion on this debate, please leave a comment down below and answer the question, is the Terminator a cyborg or not? So I'm going to talk about five movies with or about cyborgs. I'm going to talk about the movie Robocop, Repo Man, Justice League, Hardcore Henry and Alita Battle Angel. Robocop. This guy is really good. 
not a guy, he's a machine. So the first movie is Robocop from 1987. And the scene of the movie is like a dystopian future in the city of Detroit. And there's a company called Omni Consumer Products and they make a new product called a, yeah, a Robocop, a robotic cop. And they also win a major contract with the local government of Detroit. But they actually have a problem because they are looking for the ideal candidate to, yeah, to become the Robocop. Because it's a cyborg, they, they, they don't, do not have like a fully robot, like the Terminator, but they, they, they need a human to, yeah, to control and also to make their own choices with the use of these mechanical parts. Uh, and then they uh, lay their eyes on Alex Murphy and they trick him and they molest him and attack him and yeah, then he's like um, yeah, in, in a hospital and the chances of him surviving with his organic material as a human body, uh, they're quite slim and then he gets the offer to become the first Robocop. Well, of course, he takes that opportunity, but then during the movie, spoiler, he finds out that he was being tricked into becoming a Robocop by Omni Consumer Products, and then he turns to his employer. So why I like this movie is like, it's really a classic in this genre, because it's a cyborg, and this cyborg is also being used for law enforcement and violence and police, so I think, this movie should be in the top 5 of cyborg movies. My name's Remy. That's my best friend, Jake. We grew up together and now we work together. Yeah, it's job's a job. What do you think keeps a world together? It's rules. It's people abiding by the terms of the deals that they sign themselves. How's your pancreas holding up? <laughs> I sent the money in this morning. <laughs> the second movie is Repo Man and Repo Man is about a company called The Union and The Union they sell artificial and electronic organs like an artificial lung, uh, a kidney, liver uh, to people um, yeah, who suffer from a disease on that organ or people who want to live longer because their organ is failing. And what's interesting about the movie is that The Union also has like ridiculous and outlandish uh, interest fees and pay payment agreements. So there are a lot of people who are not able to, yeah, to fulfill their obligations to the company. Uh, so what happens, uh, the two main characters in the movie, played by Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker, they go to the house of a person who is not able to pay out their outstanding debt to the company and then, then they cut that person open and take out the artificial lung or liver or kidney or whatever. And then in the movie, spoiler again, there's a quite interesting plot I really like. So I think it's a pretty good movie. Um, and one of the deeper things in the movie, uh, which also makes me to put it in, into this top five of uh, cyborg movies, is that especially compared to the Robocop, uh, this is more of a future scenario in which we all are or can be cyborgs and we use these cyborg technologies not to for violence or police or in warfare like in Robocop but just to live longer and be and being healthy for a longer period of time so that's one thing I really like and one other interesting thing is um, which becomes very clear in the movie that the main goal of the company, company the union is not per se to help consumers to live a happy life or be, being healthy for a longer period of time but the main interest, interest is profit and also yeah, profit for their own shareholders so you might imagine hmm, that sounds pretty familiar to our current day and age so it's also sort of a warning this movie like if we have cyber technologies, do we want to have the same neoliberal capitalistic system in place that we also have like repo men who can go to your house and rip you open just to collect the, yeah, the inventory of the company. Something darker. I can't remember. We're asking people who don't know to risk their lives. Strong man, strong as alone. 
You ever heard that? The third movie is Justice League and I saw the original from 2017. You also have the Zack Snyder version of course. Um, and the reason uh, this movie is in this, um, this collection of movies about cyborgs is because one of the main characters besides uh, Wonder Woman and um, Batman and Superman and the Flash is Cyborg. Cyborg was one of the Teen Titans um, because this movie is also based on the DC Comics universe. And the story of Cyborg is interesting because in normal life he's Victor Stone. He was a, like a very talented athlete in high school and then he got a tragic accident. And his father is a scientist, Dr. Silas Stone, and he decides to rebuild Victor with mechanical parts so he becomes a fully cyborg. And he has like amazing uh, powers also complementary to the rest of the Justice League um, and he also needs his powers for example to connect with computers and machines in the plot of this movie but what I also like is a deeper layer in this movie is that uh, Cyborg Victor he has these amazing cyborg technologies and possibilities but in essence he's pretty sad about what happened to him and he, he, he feels that he lost his uh, his humanity by being upgraded with all these mechanical and electronic uh, cyborg technologies. So that's the movie Justice League with one of the main characters called Cyborg. Henry, they want your technology. How do you like the new? The fourth movie is Hardcore Henry and this movie is different compared to the other movies. And the first reason is it, that this movie is not from Hollywood, it's not a Hollywood blockbuster like the other ones, but it's from Russia. So, but you can also watch the movie because the main um, language in which the characters talk to each other is English and sometimes there's also Russian dialogue but then it has subtitles so you're okay with that. And the second reason is that the whole movie is from the point of view of Henry, the main character. Uh, as you might imagine, the main character Henry, he's a cyborg. But he wakes up in a Zeppelin, <laughs> true story, watch the movie, he wakes up in a Zeppelin it sails above the, the, uh, the, uh, the city of Moscow and then he wakes but he's no, he does not have active memory of what happened to him and no recollection of why he got into the Zeppelin at the first place and there are also electronics sticking out of his, uh, um, out of his belly um, and he also needs to recharge and um, do all kinds of things to keep himself alive and, and the whole movie is I for my own taste a little bit too much over the top. The, it has like a high tempo, high speed. So if you're into, for example, Jason Statham movies, maybe you like this. And also another reason why it's a little bit over the top is because the main villain, uh, Aiken, he also has like, he's a real villain and he's like telekinetic powers. And um, yeah, but but because it's, it's like a whole other experience because it's from it's a movie in Russia uh, it's from the point of view of uh, Henry and it's got some interesting ideas and concepts where they toy around with being a cyborg I think this movie should also be in like my top five movies about cyborgs I'll have to face them head on I'm gonna need you to stand way back tonight is not a game it is a hunt the fifth movie is Alita Battle Angel and it's about the main character Alita and yeah, she's being constructed by Dyson Ido, which you might consider her father, based on parts in a dumpster. And then she found out she has, she has amazing powers and she's also playing the game of motorball in which she becomes pretty good. And then, as you might imagine, at one moment in the movie, she also had to fight other cyborgs in the game of Motorball, but also outside of that game. And what I really like are the fantastical, fictional cyborg technologies, like you have opponents with, with, with bus saws or flexible lances, and um, also they can go really fast. And well, it's uh, maybe also a little bit too fantastical, but I like the movie. Uh, it also got some pretty good actors um, and what I also 
find really interesting about the movie is it also got a deeper layer. So at first sight, it see, also seems like a little bit of a teen movie, young adults. There's also some love affairs involved, but it has a deeper layer because there's a difference between the people who live in the underground and there's a city high up in the air called Salem. And the Salem is where the, the rich people live and they have all the money, but also they are immortal. And then they literally also dump their garbage onto the, uh, onto the earth where the normal folk live. And based on these elements in this garbage, Elita is being born and constructed. Of course, it also reminds me of the story of uh, Cyborg, of Victor Stone, who was also being resembled by his father. But in this story, A Little Battle Angel, you could say that Dyson Ido is not really the biological father of Alita, but never mind. But what I like is like you have the difference between classes in society. Or well, that's not something I like, but something that is really interesting. Um, do we go to that kind of a future where there's a, like a biological and also a spacious uh, difference between people, the people who are high up in the air and us as the normal folk who are not having these upgrades in health and also longevity and maybe also intelligence and other powers. So that's something I like about this movie Alita Battle Angel. So I talked about five movies with cyborgs or about cyborgs. I talked about Robocop, Repo Man, Justice League, uh, about Hardcore Henry and about Alita Battle Angel. And please let me know if you saw one of these movies and if you saw more of these movies, please let me know what's your favorite movie and why. And also, please leave a comment with your opinion about on the question, do you think the Terminator is a cyborg or not? Okay, um, you're not here to kill me. I figured that part out for myself. So what's the deal? My mission is to protect you. Please subscribe to my channel and also if you have a question or a remark, leave a comment down below. Go to my website if you want to have a free download and if you are interested in more in-depth knowledge and know-how about human enhancement, human augmentation, biohacking and the superhuman era.